What's up? So um, if you are watching this and you watch the other ones, hello again. If you hadn't watched my other two videos, hi. My name is Justin, and this channel is The Podcasting Dead. We pretty much talk about The Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead, the comics in the show. But, you know, we want to do other things, and we kind of got into that because we were like, hey, we want to get into podcasting, but we don't really know where to start. And we were like, well, hey, we love The Walking Dead, right? So that's where we started. And now, you know, we're trying to branch out a little bit. We're, we're doing a little video game playing um which is this is the first time i've done game commentating which is pretty obvious by how bad i am at it but uh yesterday and the day before i put out two videos nothing special not like full playthroughs of this game just uh you know kind of experimenting and messing around with uh video game commentating but if you did watch one of or both of them um and you notice my mic quality sucks now compared to the other two it's because I wasn't going to make a video tonight. I was like, ah, it's Halloween. I'm going to go home, play a little Red Dead, watch a few scary movies. I don't really feel like having to do any video editing or anything. But I was uh, online, and I saw this really cool Easter egg that I had to check out myself. And, of course, by judging by the title of this video, you figured out it's the Walking Dead Red Dead Redemption 2 Easter egg. Now, I haven't actually unlocked the part of the map that this is supposed to be in. Um, so I had to look at someone online's, you know, where they had marked the location and just guess because none of that's unlocked on my map. So I might be off. We might not even find it. But if you're watching this video, then odds are I found it because I don't know why I would have posted it if I didn't. So just hang in there and we're going to get to it. So I've got it marked. I don't know if I've got, I don't know how close to, I think I'm pretty close judging by his map. I spent a lot of time trying to get it right, but Let's, uh, let's head that way. I think my horse has got enough time to get its energy up. Let's just cut on down the hill. But by the way, if you, you know, do watch The Walking Dead, we, we, we podcast several times a week about it. We make predictions, give you news that we found, or, you know, whatever. I mean, and usually our predictions are very wrong. I'm going to warn you now. We're much more conversational than factual. But we have fun. And then, like I said, I wasn't going to record tonight, but then when I saw this, I was like, wait, I've been making Red Dead Redemption 2 gameplay videos and posting them to our Walking Dead channel. Okay, I've got to record this, so. I didn't feel like setting up my iRig and my laptop and all of that, so that's why I just stuck with the PlayStation microphone. Hoping I don't see any bounty hunters, because... I'm one of those people, I'm very unlucky on this game. Like, I really, really like the first one. But for some reason, this one, I'm just... I love it. Awesome game. I'm having a lot of trouble getting the controls down, though. So, there has been... There's been several times. Is that it? I know it's a barn. Hold on, let's go check and see if it's this barn. Because, like I said, my location could be very off. Nope. That's not it. Okay, just had to check. Um, but... Uh, I, I, so I've had so many times where I'll go to press L2 to talk to someone and then I accidentally hit R2 for whatever reason and end up shooting them in the head. So yeah, I've got bounties on me pretty much everywhere. Kind of like Axel from The Walking Dead TV show. Like, I don't have bounties on me because I'm a bad guy. <laughs> I just am a wanted criminal because I'm an idiot. Alright, let's go. Looking around for barns. Let's see. And actually, too, it was pretty cool because I, I, when I saw this, I remember that The Walking Dead had posted on their uh, Twitter when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out last week a picture of, like, the game cover, but it, it had, you know, instead of, like, Arthur or John Marston, it had uh, Andrew Lincoln on it. Ooh. That's a pretty big buck. You know what? Let's see if we can get him real quick. Okay, no we can't, of course. Arthur, come on, man. But uh, they had a picture of Andrew Lincoln on the cover, and it was really badass. And then uh, I saw where somebody posted this just a little while ago, so I was like, okay, gots to find it. All right, let's see. We're getting towards a creepy-looking part of town. Let's see if it's somewhere in here. Oh, there's a big barn. There's writing on it. I think I think we found it. Yep, that's it. So that is the Walking Dead 
uh, Easter egg for Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's see. I don't know if you can get inside or anything. But, you know, stay out, plague. It's obviously a play on the uh, don't open, dead inside. Or if you read it the way it was written, don't dead, open inside. But, you know, still. All right, let's see, man. Can you, uh, can you open this? I take that as a no. Ooh, let's see, there's another door. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see. I, I, play, I went back and played uh, Uncharted 4 a couple weeks ago. So I'm, with this game, the issue I'm having is I keep forgetting that I can't, like, just jump up wherever I want to go. But I'm going to see. This would be really interesting, you know. There was something in here. Oh. Maybe if I can get on the roof. Come on, Arthur. Use that. I mean, just reach your arms up. Just lift your arms in the air, and then you could get up there. Uh, I'm thinking, I mean, and even way, either way, that's a really cool Easter egg. It just would be really dope if you could, like, get inside, and there were sick zombie-looking people, like, shambling about. Ooh, let's see what's over here. Cigarette card. Hmm. Pretty cool. Alright, give me that whiskey. Hold on. Give me that whiskey. Alright, I guess you can't get that whiskey. Let's see what's... Be cool if you could like... Oh, let's go to first person real quick and see if, if maybe we can see inside. Okay, here we go. Oh, snap. I didn't expect that to happen. Huh. Well, I don't think there's anything else to this, but it's still really cool. Oh, wait, wait, he felt... Ah, I thought it felt like he got wobbly or something on one spot, so maybe he'll fall through. Really hoping for a uh, Undead Nightmare Part 2 on this one. Which, I being that this is a prequel, would it be like Part Zero? See, it gets real. The controller starts vibrating in that area. But anyways, all right, so I don't think anything's going to happen. If I do figure out how to get in the building, I will be back on. There'll be another video, but if you don't see another video, then you can just, I guess, assume that I didn't get in there. But And uh, before I go, if you're wondering where it is on the map, maybe you want to find it yourself. Okay, so I am standing on the barn. So let's uh, let's open the map. Oh, that's cool. So it unlocked some of um, some of the map, I guess, being I've been down here now. But, uh, yeah, so right there, basically, look for Lonnie Shack. And if you don't see that, just look for uh, Limo, and it's just a little above the O. So it's just so when you're looking at your map, just look at that O. It's a street above the O. Go across that street. But, yeah, so zoom out here so you can see. But that is the uh, location if you want to go and find it yourself if you're playing this game. So, yeah. Uh, if uh, you like The Walking Dead, we will probably have another podcast out before the week's over with that. Might have some more gameplay video, I don't know. Definitely going to have some uh, Telltale Walking Dead gameplay videos up within the next week or two, I promise. I just have to grab JP and get him to uh, to come down and play it. And if you don't know, if you've never been to this channel before, JP is the guy that I podcast with. So, But uh, yeah, I will see you very soon i'm sure i hope you have had or had a great halloween depending on when you are watching this and uh 
yeah, stay safe. I, I'm terrible at sign-offs, but yeah, bye.